What's up, what's up, what's up? How everybody doing, man? It's your boy E. So Flintstone, a.k.a. The Music Media Man, a.k.a. Eldridge Xavier. Well, I just got off work, man. I work third shift. Just got off at six. I'm full as I don't know what, man. Stopped by this certain restaurant, got me two big Dumbo pancakes and a bowl of cheese grits. And when I tell you, if you're my size, 155, 160 pounds, and when you go to this certain restaurant and get these pancakes, all it takes is two. You can sleep like a baby. But I ain't want much, man. I just want to come over here just to see how everybody was doing. That's all. Uh, I'm going to continue to stress this. Stay positive. If you feel yourself about to get worked up with negative energy, negative thoughts, Get somewhere to yourself. Go to the most high. And like I tell y'all, no, I'm not a Christian. I still drink liquor. But I pray, I believe in God. Every now and then I read a scripture too. You know. You know, the other night, you got a guy at the workplace. Who really kind of worked himself up and stumbled over his own negative energy. I'm sitting in my little station working and you got a guy. I mean, he just crunk. Bouncing around, saying it loud. He got his earbuds in one minute, rapping loud, and then the next thing you know, I hear music playing out loud. I mean, he was feeling himself. And part of the company policy, once again, you can't have no cell phone out. Can't have no earbuds in your ear much less having your radio playing out loud through your phone. And you know, it seems like within this last week and a half or two I've been working at this job, most of the negative energy been coming from the older people. I mean, all the older people, man. 50 plus years old or better. Now, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Is it fried brain cells from years and years upon years of drug abuse, drinking? Is it foolishness, stupidity? Or is it just these 50 year old people don't care? Because last time I checked, I ain't seen that now young person, man. I ain't seen that now young person. Maybe had one or two that had some little words or whatnot, but it went to the point like the 50 year old snaggle tooth man I told you about. The one that had me placed up under the bridge, coming from the last job. Then you got the 50-year-old snaggletooth lady who I made a video and told y'all about in Negative Energy Part 3. But I ain't gonna drop that just yet because I'm trying to peep something out first because I'm still at the workplace. They ain't never get rid of her. She's still there. So I'm trying to wait and see what's going on in our traffic. But I got part three of negative energy. 
Oh, uh, what else? I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my older people, man. Because ain't no way we should be acting like this. And we wonder why the young cats look at us really like as if, what are y'all? We ain't even got nothing to look up to. They have some of them look at us. Because I'm an older person too. You know, I ain't no 50 or nothing like that, but I'm over 30. So you got cats 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? But you know, most don't respect me because I carry myself in a way to the point I should get respect, you know what I'm saying? But you got a guy at the workplace. He crump, he bouncing around. And I noticed, man, this guy done been drinking liquor, man. He done went in these four liquor. <laughs> he done went in these four liquor and bill. Cause like I told y'all, we work around alcohol. Y'all remember how Pookie was in New Jack City? For anybody that came from, from my era, Y'all don't seen New Jack City. If you hadn't, you just some lame dude, bro. But you remember how Pookie was acting when he was working in around the dope, where all the women were when they, they ain't have no bra on and all that, and he slipped some dope in his mouth, and then he got amped up and just started getting crazy. That's how that dude was acting, man. So I'm like, yeah, he, he owns something. Come to find out, he don't got a hold of some of these four liquor. He don't got a hold of some of these four bills. And he was bragging. He was running around the corporate plantation bragging. Talking about how he liked the job, the job sweet. Yada, 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 yada. That's another thing y'all can't do. When you know you doing something that's messed up, don't go to bragging about it. Because it ain't like you're doing something good. You dipping in these folks stuff. Which, it ain't for me to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna dip in it. I want to, but I'm not the type that like to be high and drunk on the job. You know, cause I know you got a lot of different personalities in there. Everybody going through something. You got the crisis going on. Some people can hide theirs better than the other. And then most people, they just come to the workplace full of negative energy. But then you got this guy. So he bouncing around. I'm just peeping. I'm working. But I see it. I said, man, bro, out. Man. <laughs> it ain't funny, man. But that's why I say y'all can't brag, man. It's just like if you selling dope. You got to be humble and stay prayed up. You can't run out here bragging, boasting, look at me, look what I got. Because it won't be long before you crash out. And them same people that you was bragging to, now they looking at you. Probably laughing at you. Man, look, man. The dude ended up walking by. Son told me to look up. I look up. He walked past me cussing. But he cussing at somebody. I look behind him. It's one of the supervisors. But the supervisor going out this certain door. So I'm like, damn, what the the world going on? He just cussing. 
Come to find out, they done caught him up with some looking bill. I think he got caught trying to smuggle the beer and liquor out the corporate plantation or some of that nature. Next thing you know, see that's his own negative energy, his own negative thoughts. You done drunk this liquor, you done drunk this bill. So basically what you did, you done transformed into a demonic entity. But you appear to be happy. You appear to be happy. You bouncing around. You got your music playing. You got your earbuds in one minute. Then you have the radio playing out loud through your phone the next minute. So you just bouncing around. You bragging. Yeah, this job, sweet. I like this job. The only reason you like it because you can get you can get messed up. You can get drunk. You can get high. Then, next thing you know, his smiley face turned into a frown, a sad face, instantly. So I look up, I see a, it's like a, it's a police, but it's a different type of police. It's like a, security type police and they be the one come escort you off the premises and then once they escort you off the premises if you don't stole some they gonna walk you out the door into the police car so man they walked old boy out man they walked him out. The security police came and walked his butt out, man. I mean, he was crunk. You know, dancing, drinking his little liquor, drinking his bill, and turning into a demonic entity. Right before our eyes. Because I'm going to tell y'all something, man. When you drink, when you do drugs, you do things that you normally wouldn't do if you were sober. You notice that? You would do things when you drunk and high that you wouldn't do when you sober. Because I don't see this dude. The one who just got walked out by the police the other night. I don't see him sober. He be just as humble. So that's how I knew he had to be been on drunk some of these folk looking built. Because he just got amped up off the rip, just dancing and bragging about how he liked the job and it it job sweet. Only to get walked out by the police two hours later. That's why I keep telling y'all, man. You got to stay positive. You can't. And sometimes it won't be other people that bring negative energy upon you. Sometimes you'll trip over your own feet. Just trying stuff. And you end up just crashing out. Ain't nobody brought nothing to you. You did it to yourself. So I want y'all to keep that in mind. But yeah, man, I ain't want much, man. Just wanted to tell y'all about the dude who tripped over his own foot. I mean, he brought negative energy to himself. Through his negative thoughts. Because thinking about... Drinking them folks looking bill, knowing you didn't pay for it, that's a negative thought. I mean, yeah, you can sneak it, but really, it gonna show. You can sneak and drink all you want without nobody seeing it, but the way you acting gonna let people know you been drinking because you don't normally act this way. 
And that's what happened. He tripped over his own foot. So the moral of the story is, don't y'all trip over y'all own feet, man. Because it ain't people who bring you negative energy all the time. Sometimes you can trip over your own feet. I done did it plenty of times. I done been sitting in the house to myself, get drunk and go do something stupid and end up in jail. When nobody with me, I was by myself. Just sat in the house and got drunk and when I did something stupid, end up in jail. I tripped over my own feet. So old Blow Joe, like I said, he brought negative energy upon himself, man, through his negative thinking. So think positive, y'all. You know, I mean, dude was crunk. You should have seen it. Bouncing around, dancing, singing. Two hours later, getting walked out by the police. We got to be more careful. Because that mind, once you control that mind, you can prosper. You can prosper in life. As long as you know how to control this, the way you think, because that that going to determine most time the way you act. So if you're sitting on the job site, you working around liquor, and all you thinking about, Don, I need me a drink. Man, they boring. Man, I'm finna amp up. That's the only thing on your mind. After a while, you finna start drinking these folks stuff. Once you start drinking it and let that demonic entity in, all hell finna break loose. You finna crash out, trip over your own feet. And that's what happened, man. Dang. So, I haven't been at this job no more than two weeks. And already, between the 50 year old Snaggletooth man at the last job, and these two 50 year old people, and it's something about these 50 year old people. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What's going on? Somebody tell me something. After you hit the like button, the comment button, the subscribe button, do all that. But tell me something. What's going on with the 50 year old class, man? It's like every 50 year old I run into in the last, well, every 50 year old I done ran into in the last month been crazy. Or done did something crazy. But I ain't want much, man. I just want to let y'all know about Negative Energy Part 4. The man who tripped over his own feet. It's sad, y'all. And we wonder why young people look at us the way they look at us. Like a bunch of scumbags. It's your boy Eso Flintstone. A.K.A. The Music Media Man. A.K.A. Eldridge Xavier. I'll holler at y'all on another note, man. One.